This tutorial will walk you through how you go about installing ELMS. So the first thing you want to do is find ELMS ICMS, that's Instructional Content Management System, uh, version alpha 4. You're going to get this off of drupal.psu.edu under the code section. Next, after you unzip the file and we have it set up on our local host, as I have here, you're going to see this ELMS underscore ICMS package. So I'm going to go to there, my local host. I'm going to select ELMS Instructional Content Management System. Now, the first thing you'll get, just like Drupal, is, hey, you need to copy your settings file. So go into Sites, Default, copy this default settings file, and rename it to Settings. Go back and refresh. Okay, now I'm going to enter database name. I've already created a database namespace for this, which is Elms ICMS, and put in some password information for my local host here. This is going to start to install Elms. Just notice, I mean, this is very similar to Drupal. It essentially is Drupal because this is an installation profile. As you'll see up here, profile Elms content. Still haven't switched the name of the profile over. But, so there we go. It's started to get set up here. So I'll call this a test site. And local host, I usually just make up some values here. So clean URLs must be enabled. There's a, a HT access file that's packaged with Elms ICMS to attempt to turn clean URLs on automatically. If you're running this in a local host environment, you'll probably be able to do it right off the bat like I am here. Uh, if you're installing this on a server, we had to do some additional tweaks to make sure that that HD access file was correct. But again, that's very Drupal-y in, in terms of what you have to fix to get things up and running. Uh, so what it's doing right now is it's actually going and grabbing um, my database dump that we have for the Elms ICMS and it's going to be loading it up. So the first few page loads uh, after installation are going to be kind of slow as it starts to seed caches and stuff like that. Uh, but there we go. So this is what you'll get out of the box. Um, you get this nice theme called a cube, which we didn't create. It's just out there available. Um, and two promotional pages. The idea would be that if you're pushing people to this, this location, you want to give them some additional information about you know, what's offered here. Um, so there is actually a content type called promo. Um, but the majority of functionality is driven from the top menu here. So see, it says admin, which it's not the Drupal admin menu. It's because I typed in my name as admin. So this is your username. You can see, I only have my courses, my bookmarks, and log out. Um, under courses, we can view all courses or we can make new course spaces. So let's view all courses because this comes prepackaged with a sample course space. Uh, academic unit, you see we just have two generic department names here. Uh, that's just Drupal taxonomy, so you can add as many as you want. So let's go into this course space. So the course space it comes with is just called Course 101. Uh, this is what an example course space would start to look like um, as you're building it out. So all of my versions are listed here. All of my course offerings across time would be listed over here. And you see we just have a basic graph here showcasing how much content is in each of these. Uh, obviously content doesn't make a lot of sense. Enrollments would make a lot more sense, but as enrollment management still being fleshed out in Helms uh, ICMS, you know, we have it here just so that it makes, it looks like what it should look like down the road. So go into one of these versions by clicking on it and get an idea of what Elms can create for you. So you see a path has changed, name follows along, courses, course 101, and then admins, course 101 dev version, which is the silly name of this um, working space here. And then I'm in. So my content's over here. I can edit it uh, mostly like I would edit anything in Drupal, except that all of the actions happen up here. Uh, so instead of it being the Drupal tabs, we pull them up into this actions menu. Uh, but editing is much like editing in Drupal typically is. So what I'm going to show in the next video is going through building out a course space and adding some versions to it as opposed to just you know what's included out of the box.